everyone, this is Danielle, and I work with the Nature Conservancy's Virginia Coast Reserve here on the eastern shore of Virginia. And today we're going to be talking about the water cycle, as you can see behind me. So what is the water cycle? We know about water, right? We know that we drink it, we need it in our lives, but where does it come from? I want you to think about that for a second. Where does it come from? So we have oceans, right? Oceans, lakes, ponds, streams, all of that is water, right? But is all water the same? No, we have salt water, right? And then we have fresh water. So our water is different, but it all comes from the same place. It comes from a cycle. So we have our oceans and ponds and lakes and that water doesn't always stay there. Sometimes it evaporates when the sun comes out, right? It evaporates. So it comes off as little water driplets and it actually changes states. So as water, it is liquid, but when it evaporates, it turns into gas. And then it forms clouds. And that is where condensation comes into play. It condensates in the clouds and when the clouds get so heavy then they fall down to the sky. Can you guys think about what it's called when the clouds, the water falls down to the sky? It's precipitation, right? And that can come in many different forms as well. You know, we have rain, hail, snow, sleet. We have all of those different forms of precipitation where the water from the clouds comes down back to the earth. And then it doesn't stay where it falls necessarily. It finds its way back to those bigger bodies of water like we were talking about before, the ponds and lakes and streams. So today I wanted to do a fun activity with you all where you could make something at home and have it either for your kids or for yourself. It should be pretty fun for adults as well. So I'm gonna walk you through that now. So all you need is a bag, a Ziploc bag, and a Sharpie. If you are doing this with kids at home, please be super careful with a Sharpie. <laughs> so we are going to make our own water cycle in a bag. So you're going to take your bag and you're going to draw a picture kind of similar to what I have um, behind me. So down at the bottom, you're going to make some squiggles and that is gonna be your water. We're gonna have some squiggles down at the bottom. And we are gonna draw some clouds up at the top and have a nice sun. And then we're gonna label it, right? So we have this nice picture of some clouds and some water and some sun. So what did we talk about earlier? We talked about the water cycle, right? And how it moves within the system. Okay, so you're just gonna label your bag with the water cycle. So we have the bottom down here with our water source, and then we have evaporation happening from the sun. We have our clouds where it's starting to condensate, and then it starts to precipitate down once it gets heavy enough. Hopefully you guys can see that in my bag. And so we are just gonna fill this bag with water up to wherever the line is for the water that you drew. Then once you have the water in your bag, you are going to tape it to a window that gets some sunlight. So I want you to think right now about, you know, what windows in your house have the best sunlight. So here is my final product. As you can see, once the sun comes in, it acts exactly like the water cycle does. The water down at the bottom starts to evaporate and go to the top. And even though there aren't clouds, it still starts to condensate. You can see the condensation inside the bag. And then it eventually falls back down as precipitations of sort back down to the bottom. So you'll have your own water cycle in a bag. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little mini lesson on the water cycle and that you enjoy your water cycle in a bag at home. <laughs>